We want every side to come together to attempt to take down the honey side. Man, they got to understand. We want all right? the smoke. We go off the content. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey there, welcome back to the channel where we keep it real. No capping. I'm your host, bringing you nothing but straight fire and authenticity. Today, we're diving into 12 rooms that I got to promote the 100 ENT showroom, hosted by Big Wack 100, the Beehive Room, Love and RB Room, hosted by the Queen of the 100 side, RB, No Room for the Week, No Mercy Room. Spin the Black Room, 100 ENT Jake Break Squad Room, 100 ENT South Room, Petty Betty and Toxic Tanya Room, Dangerous Minds Room, hosted by Beast, Good Burger, hosted by Pitbull, Sleepless in LA, and many more. If you want to get closer or you want to be a part of the show, go to Clubhouse, follow one of these rooms, or you look for a room titled With WAC 100. These particular videos all made possible by the one and only WAC 100. Get ready to vibe with me as we explore the hardest topics that need some real recognition in the streets. Let's jump right into it and show some love to this channel by hitting the like and or subscribe button. So without further ado, hold it down, hold it down. One mic on WAC. Hey, right, uh, and, and uh, what's the niggas Tupac was dancing for? Uh, this is on the ground. This is on the ground. So that was, and then you had, then you had, watch this, the new nigga filtering in, I know it sound crazy, Bumpy, the new nigga filtering in was E-40. Ah, uh, yeah, that definitely sounds, that, that definitely sounds crazy. But you got to remember, time. but coming behind, <clears throat> Too Short, Hammer, uh, 415, Mother Fice 1, nigga, he's a new nigga filtering in. Right, so then I start. I'm doing time and shit, and the closest thing I came to the pimp music that I acknowledge was a nigga named Selly Cell. I'm gonna send you his album. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I know, I know, Selly. I know Selly Cell is mm -hmm. Selly Cell. Yeah, it was like ass, gas, and cash. Nobody ride for free, right? I think he has some shit called Heat for Your Ass too, right? So. That's why when niggas be asking me about dude, I be like, he must have been in that era, Bumpy, where it's an era of gang banging to where either we was going to sink or swim. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right, right. G Hummy said that all the time. It, it, it was an era to where we was going to sink or swim. So either they was going to wipe our ass up out of here or we was going to win and grow. And, and I think the only reason why <clears throat> we won and grew is because of the division amongst the Crips at the time. See, this shit is weird. Bloods and Paul Rules like Crips to me now. Like, it never was like this, right? And, you know, you had certain sets that wouldn't concern themselves with other niggas' business, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Like the Harlems. If it wasn't the 20s, uh, you know, the Fruit Town Brims, the Blackstones, you know, they wasn't giving a fuck what some Paul Rules was doing over there or what some niggas was doing on the east side. They just tended to their business. You know, the vote trial never really happened like that with them. So, after that, you know, that those critical years are probably like 91 to about 95, 96. And we talking about streets and prison, right? Because the penitentiary was dictating the streets. So, in them years, bro, the, the mental brainwashing, the mental stimulation had to be, it was there. You know, that's why Scarface was so big with us. You know what I'm saying? Scarface was talking that shit. Mind playing tricks on you. Any nigga did time in solitary confinement. Know that song word for word. Never seen a man cry till I seen a man. Like, you know what I mean? You like, it's like the music was like, a, it sent a nigga into a trance, into his mission. That nigga from Flint. Um, ain't no future in the front. Then we used to put work in. That was our MC Breeze. MC we used to put that was an anthem song to put work in. Them niggas ain't playing. Them niggas ain't playing. 
like it everything was it was the because one thing about it bump when they hit when you hit they hit that's why when you hear me get mad and say nigga when you hit we gonna hit and keep hitting that's that was the right. mentality back that was that mentality from back then when the nigga hit ain't no stopping until you're stopped straight up death jail or they ain't there to hit no more it was some shit you know and i sit back now and i think about it <clears throat> and a nigga up until about two years ago bum nigga used to have real nightmares man because a nigga didn't really been in some situations where he had to make some up decisions that really shouldn't have been made but based upon the politics of what it was and what it's gonna turn out to be a nigga had to make them decisions bro so you know whether it was dealing with your own whether there was a situation to where certain people ain't supposed to be there but now they there and you know all that go in the courtroom you know shit was going on bro you know it's, it, it take a, a numb mind to tell a nigga my man is in violation we know he gotta go but y'all, we ain't gonna let y'all do it. We gonna handle our own ourselves. Right, right, right. Definitely. Bro, that that shit that shit wears on you, bro. And then you gotta see their kids. And, you know what I'm saying? And and know what that was. You know what I'm saying? So, but if that wasn't the case, the whole car was in jeopardy. So it was either one, it was either all or one based upon my nigga, you done went over it with you like my nigga for real. You know what I mean? And then what it gets you is you get to a point where you can perform these acts and move on like nothing happened. That's when you fucked up. We would teach ourselves to say we gangsters, we ready. But no, we were really fucked up and didn't know it, bro. That's why I tell a lot of youngsters, bro, these quiet, older niggas, if you see that thousand mile stare in their eyes, I don't give a they got a bean pie, a Bible. I don't give a if they homeless. Leave that man alone, bro. He done been some places and did some things and he really got some demons in him and he really trying to, he really trying to like not exercise. Leave. If he trail you, it's okay, bro. It's cool. You win. Don't take that for no weakness, nigga. Leave that nigga alone, bro. Because that nigga will snap out and then you will experience 30, 40 years of rage. That ain't had nothing to do with you. I ain't had nothing to do with you, bro. On some real, bro, like, nigga, I, it be me, nigga. Hey, bro, Bumpy, it's literally a, a, like a boiler that start boiling in our gut. And we got to release it. Like, we start feeling it. That's why I be like, come on, let's roll. Because I know I'm a trip. You know, you already know you're going to get mad. I, I already once know. We, I already man, know. Once we do that, it, it's like, and, it, and then what be crazy is like, our tripping is normal to us, but that shit ain't normal, bro. That shit to what life is supposed to be and mankind and humanity is supposed to be, that shit ain't normal. Hey, but when you pull up to them, to them uh, quiet talking, you know what I mean? Them in behind in the corner type people, they have the, the best conversation. If you ain't tripping, they come. Oh no, yeah, they ain't. They, bro, they have they, the best conversation. They, they'll, they'll help you. Good. They'll help you. We don't want to see nobody go through what we went through, bro. We don't, we be, listen, nigga is not telling you not to do that because we think you a punk. We telling you not to do that because we know you'll do it. We see yeah, it in you. That's exactly. We, I, I, that that is a I lesson hear. I had to learn later I on right because I, I didn't, I didn't understand it at first. I, yeah, see we know, we see it in. We ain't going to tell you don't do it if we know you ain't got it. We, we know you finna do it. We see it in you. But we know what's been to come of it. But when three of those people tell you, be like, hey, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I know you trying to go do that and do that. But this is the way that we're moving this way. This is the best type of outcome of the situation. Even though they know we still going to go and do that shit, having that thought or having the person that told us that. After we go do that dumb shit, whether we win or lose, that shit. Listen, sick. I didn't done a lot of, I didn't done a lot of dumb shit. You feel me? And I had to reflect on a lot of conversations. That, that, but yeah, sometimes you, you win you off that shit. Homie, right? Sometimes you lose off it though. And and, and, and Bobby, when you got a homie that your uncles and all the homies then told you, hey, bro, the homies, you, you know, like that, like nigga, and you know this nigga that walked off a bunch of time, and you know, and he tell you, 
Hey, Bumpy, you don't want to do that. Let's leave that alone. He ain't telling you, bro, because he don't think he wouldn't even talk to you. He ain't going to even act with you. But he know when we walking in that cell, bro, a lot of niggas glorify these penitentiaries and doing time. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, when we get out, we can talk about it. But imagine being restricted to seven or eight steps with another grown ass body. Mm. And you doing you doing eight, nine, ten calendars. I mean it's eight, nine, ten years. It's nothing glorified about that. Nothing That's fun about that weak, shit. But, nothing but fun is. about that shit. You in there with all men, right? Everybody in there is a man. Your life in danger every motherfucking day. Right? Your motherfucking five star restaurant. Is what you make in your room in the trash bag that come out the can? Good. I hear you. Know, you. Shit, niggas be trying to nah, like that's real shit. shit. And this shit ain't look. You could get muscles. Dying when I was there, ninety six, ninety seven. They took me. So in the day, ain't nothing about that shit and I hate to say it what happened to 42 Doug I'm glad it happened I'm glad when he got out of jail and he was like yeah I just got out and his record sales did 10,000 cause now I was letting these niggas know that ain't the avenue you could take nigga to get a buzz that's gonna kill your buzz Thug mm, I see what you're saying Thug. I see what you're saying trying to be too cool. Thug ass oh. Thug better f around listen be lick before something happened, let that nigga Lil Wayne diss K Dot, Kendrick Lamar, or something, and that start. Niggas gonna forget all about Thug was ever in jail. That nigga better, he better feed these fans something. He already three weeks too late. He I better feed these fans something. Something like that I would cause on the Instagram generation whack, divide, well, I, though. Hold on, hold on, Kobe. I seen on Instagram where he, I think his sister or his girl tomorrow, some, he got music, but the time he was locked up, he lost like four people in his family, so give him time to get over there and then he's gonna drop. Ain't nobody so, getting it, about that. Yeah. They posted that see, like two days ago. See, here go the thing, bro. Here goes the thing. You dealt with that while you was in jail. I never went to this one, baby. You gotta check it out. Exactly. Cool. Yeah, you know, you fuck nigga, you better think about uh taking care and su and surviving was here. Cause boy, he don't give his fans something. And then, not for nothing, I'm watching the little baby reviews. Like we said the other day, they saying he took too much time off. It sound the same. They saying all this shit. So piggybacking off of that may not may not do nothing. Hey, what, what do you think about um the baby? Because he'd have been blackballed and everything, and he's still the baby like survival. He, he in survival survival mode right now. Man, that nigga went from top five to be called on. Is it 45 or 46? Top five to be called on to, you know, he survived. He, 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 he picking up what come his way. You know what I'm saying? So as far as him coming back to that status in this climate, I can't see it happen. He has a, he got a catalog. He got some star power. He always be able to go pick be you know hey we can add this dude add that dude but where he could have went has stopped and he didn't drop you know he might Ooh. elevate a slot or two but I don't believe I hope he do he a good dude that's my homeboy like that's my homie and I love him because he a good dad he just a good dude all in general I tried to help him y'all remember that shit right when it happened I put Jason Lee with the nigga and he didn't want to talk to Jason Lee I said bro let Jason Lee stand on the side you go defend you with this shit Nigga wait a whole year later to try to make the same move I tried to make the day it happened. He didn't think. He thought because he was where he was at, he didn't think it was it was what was gonna happen. I'm like, boy, they'll do it to you quick. Yeah. Hey, I wanna hey, um uh, so, something else I wanna I wanna see. Have you been have you been paying attention to the, the big homie CC? That's his name. T C. No, CC, the big homie. The, 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 the bodyguard. I always hear his name, Mr. Key. I don't know him, but I always hear his name. They say he's got a lot of Hey, he been saying all kind of stuff on this internet. 
Yeah, I don't know. It was crazy. I, I don't know the nigga. I don't know if Pitbull know the nigga. I ain't never seen the nigga. You know, but whoever he be, but I guess that's what he be speaking on. I don't know. Uh, but I, I, I I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send you some like twenty minute clips where you just need to listen to what he be talking about. And he said, "Ain't nobody gonna come on here and challenge me because they know I was there." Yeah, I don't know him. And again, I can't say he was or wasn't. I don't mm. know him. I don't know really what he be covering. I just hear he be saying some shit. Uh, I don't know what what artists he be predominantly talking about. Well. I, well Oh, look, I got something. Let me get this right here. Let me get this for you. And, and play yeah, because he got to be tied to a certain... Yeah, because the way he talk about it, he covered nothing but top people. Diddy, Busta Rhymes. See, I, I would know him from Busta Rhymes, though. I could run a background check on him with Busta. That's easy. Because he, he, he ain't Busta Rhymes' go-to. That's crazy you said that. He ain't. I'm going to tell you who Buster Rhyme go to. It's a nigga uh, named Special, and the world know it. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. What, I want you to hear <laughs> what he said about him. If we got audio, can somebody play yeah, that in about 30 Special. minutes? You say his name is... Uh, C -C. Big homie CC. I, I, I just posted at the top. Listen to what he said about Buster right here. Can somebody play that audio in like 30 minutes? Not to say he wasn't no security detail, but Buzz go to is special. Hey, the world know that. Um, you know I'm not you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and then I let you pass it up, and you be like, so no, you know I don't. No, it's the same route for both places, just to exit off. We got audio. It's uh, I see Eric right there. You know, they, they be sleep. The big homie CC. Yeah, I know Eric probably be sleep. What about A Rod? He up? I don't see. But I'm out right now. I'm out. He out right now. Like Hold on, give me, give me a sec. I got to charge my shit for two minutes. Okay, okay. Gotta wake them niggas up. You know, you know how to go, see. You just gotta wake the homies up real quick. I know he talked about the homie. The, uh, well, I ain't gonna say the homie, but he talked about the guy that owned raw paper. He talked about how he just sit at the crib, pay millions and millions of dollars of security because he don't want to go nowhere because all the conspiracy shit that be happening to the billionaires, shit like that. But this nigga said some interesting shit about Buster. And I wanted to ask, who who's really came up since like uh you know the COVID era before COVID, like 2018, <laughs> that uh, that really went mainstream, had a good run. Yeah, he kept the baby. He might have been around, but he ain't around no bus because I just hear mm -hmm. special special say, who is that? Whack? Said some nigga named Big Homie C Security. He said, Whack, I've been covering for busted over 25 years. You know that on everything A to Z, though nothing move unless it. You know that. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, I ain't never. And you know, Bust, my guy. I know his kids, his family, been to all his homes. Like that's my guy. That's what I'm like. I don't know no main security niggas for niggas. You know him, like French Montana. Same big old Sasquatch nigga been with him forever. You know certain niggas security. Right, right here. Well, yeah, right. like that so big ass know. nigga that be with the baby. Yeah, you know him. Now we been with him forever. You know him, like so. Um, you know, Birdman Security, uh, Slim Security, FOI. You already know that. You see Slim, FOI, right? Snoop you know been is. having the same security for years. Snoop, that's the homie from Insane. He a G homie, right? Um, so, pop him. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I, when you say Buster, because especially my brother, his kids call me uncle. Like, I know where his front door at. And any nigga from New York know who that man is, and he ain't nothing to play with at all. So that's why when he said, like, I said, I just called him. I said, bro, it's big homie CC security. So he worked for Buster. Like, well, I ain't never heard of that nigga. Now, he might have been on another nigga's security team, right, right here. Meaning, like, Pet Bull come in. Pet, we're going to need, like, five niggas. So Pet Bull, like, 
bring four other niggas with him. We ain't going to talk to them niggas. We're going to talk to Pitbull. Now, if a nigga there, something happened, yes, he could be involved, and yes, he could see some shit. But to say you was the, the main nigga like that is crazy. Yeah. Cause like some of these niggas, we just know who the main nigga. Lil Wayne for a while, I forget the nigga that he had this cold Russian crew. These niggas wasn't no joke. You see, it was a brush. These niggas about six five, six six. They wasn't going for nothing. They was wrecking shit. Um, game, you know, Magic made eight Avalon, and then the team around him. Um, before that, it was two T's, which is which was Kendrick Lamar's security for all those years. Uh, but yeah, with dude, uh, like, certain I people I can call and I'ma know because you gotta remember when I'm moving through crowds or I'm coming through niggas' doors at their studios or they VIPs, it's that respect level that he know, okay, that's whacking it through. You know what I'm saying? Don't, yeah. ain't no, so like him, I don't, that's why I'm asking who he tying himself to. Bust, I can check what other artists he tied himself to. I know for a fact, Diddy said he be because he, he talk about the parties and what go on when everybody leave. Like he, like he's there, there. You know what I mean? Well, I will say this about Diddy. Diddy be having three different, three or four different details of security. Diddy security is crazy. Exactly. It be three or four different details that don't even that's independent of one another. Mm -hmm. FOI be over here. He'll have one team from wherever he's like. It be Miami. He have maybe those so pound niggas. You know, boom over here. You know, then he have the white boy security. You know, working the doors because they ain't gonna take no payments and let a nigga in. They don't give about none of that shit. You know, here and then he had the niggas outside. Mm -hmm. If it ain't if it ain't the police, like did he pay the the local police to just work the corner? So did he have? Oh, Fadi, you know, unless you close to him and his family, mm -hmm. like Wolf them was. I didn't forgot, baby. He didn't. Yeah, he, he, he that, that nigga said. That nigga said he what covered up, a lot. Of, I, what up, I, I would have to go I'm back and saying, listen. Man. That nigga said he done covered a lot of people though. But yeah, the way he, he talk about it, he ain't covering nobody yeah, under right you know that type of status. Yeah, like, but I know he capping about bus. I know he capping like, I, that's like family and. Buster's main nigga is my, that's my brother. We were just so, I just introduced him to R&B a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. On Thanksgiving, was that Thanksgiving day? Yeah, thank, yeah, so that's my brother. Very dangerous man. Everybody know, everybody know what that is. Yeah. You go with Bus, you know he coming. And you all, matter of fact, don't even Bus for If you smart, you go get him first. So that's why I'm like, I, I never heard of this nigga. I'm like, who is I, I never heard because I like nigga, I know Bus. Me and Bus and got into it, argue, ready to fight, all kind of shit, bro. Like that's my nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> all kind of shit. So that's why I'm like, I don't But see, Bus camp, you're not gonna find niggas in this camp that's gonna come challenge nothing. Cause they ain't top niggas do that type of talk and they hear something, something just gonna happen. Right here. Uh, Diddy camp the same. They not gonna challenge none. You ain't gonna see them niggas coming out like saying no shit. Yeah, but this nigga been saying some wild, wild shit. Right. Here. Right. Here. Who else? Diddy. Diddy got no way he was main security for Diddy. He might have worked for him through somebody else's security, but that nigga got like four, five different details. You talking yes. about doing who do all the who been doing all the videos lately? See yeah, about? big call itself yeah. the big homie CC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen a yeah. couple of videos on. Yeah, I, I, the bus shit I ain't buying. I, I know that. I just called that in. I ain't buying that. CC, holla at me. I ain't buying that. We can all get on the jack. I ain't buying that. Fucking Diddy, Jamie I'm not. Fox too. Jamie Fox like Diddy. He got about four, five different details. I seen Diddy pull up to a spot one time, like the president, dude. It came with all type of, it came with the white boys with the with the microphones in their heads. Yeah, this see what I'm trying to tell you. That's what yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. And then Jamie, yeah. let me tell you the difference between Jamie and Diddy. You would catch Jamie out moving by herself solo. Straight up, nigga, at a gas station. Solo, nigga, by herself. 
straight up. Oh, they everybody love it. Everybody fuck with him, right? But when he doing his parties and where's your jacket and doing his shit, where's your jacket? Yeah. Did, did he got a New York crew or a Miami? Crew? Yeah, he got a folk. Yeah, he got. Yeah, he got whatever Miami city crew. he in. If he in Atlanta, right? Okay, he gonna have the white boy security gonna be working the doors. Whatever city he in, that security is gonna be the ones just flowing throughout. Right then, he got the ones that take care of him and his kids and all that type of shit, which is a, a, a variation of people. But they people that you see with him, they close, they like family. That's and then he gonna it. have, and then he gonna have them on the corners, usually like law enforcement or like off duty uh, police or retired military. Like so, you search some of these niggas. You're not just finna just. It ain't no. And if you was that, we would know you. We would know you because we would see you on red carpet. We would have seen you step, get on the jet with this nigga. We're gonna see you're gonna be right there with this nigga. Like, the baby what, security, what the, the homie, the big nigga, he's always with you, nigga. You see the baby, you see him. If that nigga's interviewing, watch the baby eye. Wherever his eyes is floating is where his man is at. If you that main guy like that. Yeah, that's what Wolf was to him. Like Wolf went everywhere. All day. Yeah, Wolf was Wolf, Wolf, Wolf yeah. was right by his side. Like no matter where. He, he, yeah, he, 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 yeah. He, if you see Wolf, either that nigga there, he was on the way. It was the same shit with Reggie and 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 and, and Suge. You know, and Suge and Bob Gotti and Suge and Bunch Real, same shit. You them niggas pull up, Suge on the way. Straight up, you already know. So you know it. I you know. Kanye, he fired niggas like every 70 days and then he just go renegade for six months and he'll bring a few niggas. You know, Kanye, he ain't keeping nobody around him more than three months. This is why I deal with Ye the way I deal with him. I, I remove I remove myself. Call over there and find out. The next time you make sure you got your stuff before you leave, you hear me? Um so um yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I really, I really want to, <clears throat> I really want to um, know all the artists he's talking about. Cause now I want to run a background check on the nigga. I'm gonna call him direct. Kind of sounded to me like he was a nigga on detail with niggas, but he wasn't a nigga. Yeah, well, like I said, he, he that nigga. Yeah. Who we working with now? Nobody, I bet now. No. Nope. Okay. Running around that, doing all these interviews, talking that, about all that. Let me know that might be his play. He probably niggas wasn't bringing him back out on the details, so now he doing what he's taking a Gene deal around. Yeah, but he don't. Now Gene, see Gene. I warned Gene. I said Gene, me and you both know, bro. They let you go, top of the nineties, and Wolf brought you back in for a little bit, early two thousand. You gonna start lying and saying shit, and you gonna blow your hand up. He did it with the kids couple months ago when he said yeah you know that don't be puff because the kids be bring back from the clubs nigga them kids was six and eight years old when he was around <laughs> puff so with no way you would know what them kids is doing today unless you just fabricating some shit yeah love this shit finna go crazy this shit finna go crazy, boy. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, 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 yo